Hey, it's Brian with the Bound Web Design with another Squarespace tutorial. You know, I had a situation happen to me the other day when I was working on a website for a client that had tried to build the website themselves and then got frustrated with the whole process in the middle of it and decided to hire me to, to finish the thing out. And so they had, you know, a lot of things going on with the website already. And one of them was involved in an image that they had in the, the hero section of their homepage and to get the situation that they had going on corrected, I was going to need to edit the image and then get it back into the hero section there of their homepage. And so I asked them for the file and they didn't know where it was at. So the only option I had was to be able to get the image from their Squarespace website. So, or what they had done so far. So to do that, I had to go into their asset library and get it downloaded so that I didn't lose any of the image quality uh, in the download process. So we're going to talk about that today, how to do that. But before we do, I want to remind you uh, of my newsletter and the resources that come with that. And you can get signed up for that newsletter in the description. I've got a link for that in the description of this video. Um, but when you do sign up, you instantly get a free download of a PDF, which will has, uh, it, it's titled five key considerations for building your website. And it's got five key things in there that you're going to want to consider before you get started with the process of building your website, whether you do that yourself or whether you hire a designer to do that for you, it's going to help the process, uh, be a little bit more efficient, whether again, whether you do it yourself or whether you hire someone to do that. And then once you get, once you are signed up for the newsletter, uh, monthly, you'll receive that newsletter. And what I'm offering in the newsletter right now is top Squarespace news, my most recent Squarespace website launch, and then my five most recent tutorials. So you can continue to get more resources like what you're watching now. So having said that, let's uh, go to my screen and, and talk about how to download images from your asset library. All right, so we're here on my website for Bound Web Design, and we're going to go into, uh, so let's, let's say that we wanted to, uh, let's say we want to get this picture of me for whatever reason, and so we're going to go into Assets, and so one of the things you can do in your asset library, a lot like a Google Drive folder or Dropbox, you can create folders to kind of keep your uh, information organized. I like to keep my stuff organized as best possible, make it a little bit easier to find. You can also, if you know what the image uh, is named, you can find it in your search. But that's not what we're talking about today. I'm going to talk about how to download these things. So let's go to, where would I be? Let's see. Let's see if I have myself. Okay, I'm just down here. So let me move myself out of the way. And so you're going to click on the image and then you're going to I think it's actually this one. You're going to click the three dots and then you've got file details and you can see all that, whatever. But all it takes now at this point is you just have to right click on the image, save image as, and then you can decide where you're going to put it at, whether it be in your downloads or whatever. You know, you could go over here and have it saved to your desktop if you wanted to, I guess. Let's say downloads there and then you can name it whatever you want to. Uh, so you can here you can go in and change the name of the file then you're just going to go save and you'll see it go to your downloads folder so that's all that there is to it if you found this helpful please hit the like and subscribe for more squarespace content like this and if you'd like me to build your website for you you can find my information in the description below